Judith Omeru and I am one of the co-founders of a social media agency called Social Special. And if I prefer to be called Social Special, there's a new reason it. <laughs> social Special, that's the name of my brand. So you can refer to me as Social Special anytime. And today I'll be talking about the power of social media for your small business. And not just the power of social media. In fact, everybody should have a smartphone here. Am I right or wrong? If you don't have a smartphone, can I see your hands? Probably just the children in the house. They should even have. They have tabs. <laughs> so definitely everybody in this age has a smartphone. And in a smartphone, one of the things that almost everybody does is scrolling through social media. So social media is something that we cannot overlook. Today I'll be exposing us to one of the ways we can leverage free social media tools for our small business. I know not everybody has a small business, but I'm sure that after today, you might go home and start contemplating on something that you want to start. Because there has been an exposure on a lot of ideas from talent and skill monetization to different things that you can sit and brainstorm about. Okay, this is supposed to be this is supposed to be a video, but I don't know why it's not playing. Uh, in the video, you could just see somebody scrolling through a person's phone this way. And I'm sure most times, if we're bored, you just end up scrolling through social media like this. Keep liking people's posts and commenting on things that interest you. That's one of the things most people do. But if you have a business and you have a strategy, you will not just find yourself scrolling through social media, but you will find out that others who scroll through social media will in one way or another come across your content or your post or your product. Because social media is a very good platform. We have over 4 billion people on different social media platforms. And imagine you post and maybe just 1% of 4 billion gets to come across your content or your product. You can imagine how much sales you'll be making from that. Uh, now, I want us to reflect on a few things. I asked earlier how many of us had smartphones. I also want to know, do we current, is there anyone that currently owns a small business in the UK? If you have, please give me a wave. Oh, that's amazing. Uh, is there anyone that had a business before they relocated but is no longer doing the business? Wait. Thank you, thank you. Okay, do you have like an existing social media presence for your business? Do you currently have an existing social media presence for your business for those that have businesses now? Can I see a win? Okay, those that relocated that are no longer doing their businesses. The business you were doing, were you having a social media presence for that business? A win. Thank you so much. And then, have you heard success stories about the use of social media before? If you have, can I see a way? Good, thank you. That means a lot of people are quite um, familiar with social media. Good. So social media is supposed to be an integral part of any business, not just small businesses. In fact, in big organizations, you can see that they have a social media team. And they allocate certain amounts of money or budget for their social media team just because they want their social media presence to be properly promoted. So they have a social media team for big brands. And even small businesses can also get social media presence for themselves. You don't necessarily need to hire a social media team. You can be a social media manager. In fact, there's this thing that a, the owner of a small business is the team of the small business. Like you are your team. You are the social media marketer, you are the uh, messenger, you might be the delivery person. In fact, there was a time I did uh, job shipping and e commerce, and I, I ordered a bulk of products. It was a mosquito lamp, yes, mosquito repellent lamp. And then I didn't have staff, but they were dispatch riders. And sometimes if you calculate and you like try to find the distance of the person that you want to deliver to, you just make yourself an automatic dispatch rider. 
you either use public transport to deliver your products to people or you get what I mean? Like you are you are the dispatch rider and you are the delivery person for your brand. That's because you're a small business and probably if you calculate how much you would pay the dispatch rider, it would shorten the gain that you are making. So most times we see that small business owners are their own team. You are a small business owner, but you are the team of your brand. But you know, in a single click, once you just click post from your social media page or platform, your page has spread out to, it has potential to reach billions and millions of people. That's how powerful social media is. So I'll be exposing us to a few statistics of social media. Um, a few figures, let me just use numbers, numbers that might interest us. We see that 74% of online adults use social networking every day. 74%. Imagine out of 100, that's a huge percentage. And then 81% of consumers research online before making purchases. How many of you uh, prefer online shopping to physical shopping? Hands? Oops. Who prefers online shopping to physical shopping? Just one person. Two? Who else? Three, four, yeah? Okay. Uh, times are involved and most times the time you allocate to offline shopping, most people prefer to allocate it to online shopping. And if you look at platforms like Amazon, for instance, in a platform like Amazon, if, for instance, you have subscribed on that Amazon Prime and you are sure that all your deliveries for that period are free, so you know you're just paying for the product and not the delivery. So social media sort of makes buying or makes purchase easy for you. you. From the comfort of your home or even from your office or wherever you are, you can just place your order and it will be delivered to your house. Sometimes you might not even be there to pick up. They will drop it somewhere and you have to pick it. So that's how far and how powerful social media is in this time. And for those who have websites or those who understand what sales funnel is, we see that 57% of our sales funnel are accounted for by social media use. And then as of January 20, 2023, we could see that there are about 4.76 billion users of social media. In the world, who can tell me how many billion people are in the world? What? Eight billion. Eight billion. Uh huh. Uh, it was seven. I think that's increased to eight. Yeah. So out of eight billion people, we have 4.76 billion users of social media. That's like over half of the percentage of the world are users of social media. And then we have that uh, the average time spent using social media in a day is two hours. Sometimes you come back from work very tired. And you're like, let me just see what's happening on social media. You start scrolling through. And before you know it, you spent over an hour or two scrolling through Instagram. And for those who like jokes, comedies, comedies can keep you online for a long time. And then for those who are into business too, you might also want to like check maybe comments or likes or how your post is doing. And you just find out that while you are scro and scrolling through social media, you might have you might have exceeded over two hours. And then we have that the average number of social platforms used each month is seven. How many of us are on social media? Can I see you? Okay, I'll ask randomly. Let me ask somebody who is into Amazon FBA. How many social media platforms are you on? Four. She's on four. She's on four. Are you sure? Yeah. Are you on QQ? I used to be. I think my account probably didn't come. When I was in China, I was on every chat with you. Uh huh. Yeah, all the time. Oh, that's yeah. amazing. <laughs> Who else? Five people that. What? Five people that was a Microsoft Taylor. Who else? <laughs> on this table. Who else is on social media? Yeah. Okay. How many social media platforms? Four. How many social media? Four. Okay, from this table. From this 
stable. Who is on social media? How many social platforms? Three. Three. And you? Three. Three. Okay, from this table. She said four or five and she said two. So now, um, there are over a hundred social media platforms. There are over a hundred social media platforms. And if I should say from this hall, the average number of social media platforms that people in this hall have is four. As an individually, the average number is four. Because I've asked from different tables, so if I had more than five people say four, some said three, some said two. But globally, each person has seven. I have more than seven. And he said he has all, like he's on all the social platforms. <laughs> okay, let's look at more statistics. Um, I'll mention a few social media platforms. And if you know them, just shout yes. Are we good? Are we good? Yeah. If you know the social platform, after I mentioned, you just shout yes. Number one, Facebook. Yes. YouTube. Yes. WhatsApp. Yes. Instagram. Yes. WeChat. Yes. TikTok. Yes. Facebook Messenger. Yes. Uh, Douyin. No. No. Oops, nobody might have heard. That should be in China. Uh, Telegram. Yes. Snapchat. Yes. Quasho, <laughs> Sing a Weibo, yes. good, just one person, our traveler, QQ, I'll have to release <laughs> uh, Twitter, yes. and Pinterest, yes. okay, so these are just a few social media platforms that we might be very familiar with, and from these social media platforms, Facebook alone has 2 billion, 958 million users. Facebook alone. So far, that's the largest social media platform in the world, Facebook. And then the second is um, YouTube. It has 2 billion, 514 uh, million users. Followed by WhatsApp, Instagram, and so on and so forth. So just imagine you have like 1% or even 0.5% or even less than that percentage interacting with you or your business. You know what potential that has for your business. And then, okay, this also reflected that's Facebook topping the chat at over 2 billion, and then YouTube over 1.5, say so around 1.9, and then WhatsApp, and uh, Instagram, WeChat, both of them are tracking between 1 billion. And then we have uh, Tumblr, TikTok, Reddit, Twitter, Pinterest, Snapchat, and MySpace. So if you Google social media, you will see that there are tons and tons of social media platforms that you can join. And one major thing about the social media platforms is that in as much as most people just decide to have fun on social media, social media is a powerful tool for promoting businesses also. Uh, this statistic is from January 2023 and we have 8 billion people in the world currently and out of the 8 billion people in the world, we have 57.2% of the world as social media users. So let's say maybe the percentage that are not on this um, list could include children and old age people that are close to death or something like that. So, apart from those category of people, we have over half of the world as social media users. That's a big potential. And then for those with unique mobile phones, we have 5.44 billion users of mobile phones out of 8 billion in the world. And that's a huge population. And active social media users, we have 4.76 active social media users in the world. So out of over 8.1 billion people in the world, we have about 4.76 billion users of social media. 
And if you begin to imagine these statistics, you will imagine how powerful social media can be for your brand. And these are just a few statistics based on locations. Maybe I'll use my location. In the whole of Africa, um, out of 100% of African population, we have 13.3% of the population are social media users. And uh, Europe, maybe I should use Western. Out of 100%, we have 83.3%. So the world has evolved in such a way that everything is becoming digital. Um, I don't know how many of us have heard of Chat GPT. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Chat GPT is displacing people from work these days because the work of research and the work that most companies would have to hire and pay people for these um, digital uh, platforms and AI is taking over those jobs. So if you don't inculcate yourself in those systems, if you don't understand the times, if you don't evolve, you'll be left behind. And I'm not sure anybody wants to be left in, uh, in 2023 when we are moving to 2024. Nobody. Okay, there are three C's of social media marketing. The first one is content. The second one is community. And the third is commerce. Content, community, and commerce. If you're on social media and you have never posted before, can I see your hand? I have just one person. So you are a spy on social media. I will report your account. <laughs> okay, the first thing any person who has a social media uh, page or profile should consider is content. And by content, we mean pictures, videos, write-ups, and all of that, posts. So you see that, in fact, most people devote their time to the kind of pictures that they want. They, for those who plan photo shoots, birthday shoots, they plan the kind of pictures that they want for their profile page. And then for some businesses, those who are serious about social media, they also plan product, um, product pictures or product shoots for their products for social media. So all of that is part of content. And then we have community. For social media, you cannot do it alone. If you post and you are the only person seeing your post, or you make your post private, and maybe you are a business owner, would that have any effect? No. No, it wouldn't. So you need a community to progress as a social media um, user. It's either, if it's Facebook for instance, a Facebook group, uh, a Facebook, uh, what's it called? Facebook groups and uh, Facebook communities are places you can join to engage with others. And then we have Instagram. You might not necessarily have them in communities, but you have Instagram pages that you can follow. And most people call their pages their community because their followers will be their community. So as a business or an individual, social media is so powerful that you can create a community for yourself. And then commerce, that's straight. For those who have talents and skills, if I should list my talents, oh my god. <laughs> they are long. I know how to cook, I know how to beat, I know how to sew, I know how to make Ankara crafts, and a whole lot of things. And at different points in my life, one or two of these um, skills or talents have helped me when I was almost zero like when I was bankrupt and broke. <laughs> so social media is important because um, social media cannot replace traditional marketing. Word of mouth is still very powerful, but social media is stopping the chart of marketing because it's one of the most used forms of marketing in today. Okay, so as a user of social media, you have to have a strategy. If you don't have a strategy, if you don't set the stage, if you don't make your bed, if you don't lay the foundation, you would not have a structure to fall back to. So you have to create a strategy as a user of social media. And the first thing you have to do in creating your strategy is to define your target audience. Let me use something abstract. If I'm selling phones, 
What age group do you think will be my target audience on social media? Based on candidates. 18 to 40, okay? Um, let's see, I'm not selling a smartphone. He said this is a kind of phone. Assuming I'm selling just the phone for calls, like they call, uh, in Nigeria they call it Palasa, right? 50 plus. Yeah. 50 plus, okay? Why do you think 50 plus? Because everybody needs a smartphone. Okay. Yeah. It's funny, and it's a lot of older people, 50 plus, 55 plus. Uh -huh. Not just in the mind, they will probably have the skills that they haven't done it yet in terms of how to operate the smartphone. Yeah. Okay, so if I am to sell a toy, what age group do you think I should uh, should be my target audience? Mm -hmm. Toys? Young parents. Young parents, uh huh. Because they don't want to buy them. How about old parents? They should be grandparents too, they would want for their grandchildren. Oh, parents, yeah. parents, yeah, yeah. <laughs> So, defining your target audience is an important aspect of using social media. If you are a dancer or a chef, in fact, everybody might be your target audience. But if you have unique or specific businesses, there are unique or specific people who should be your target audience. As a social media manager, for instance, everybody is my target audience, but not everybody is my target audience. Because it depends on the angle I want to approach my business from. If I'm approaching my business from consultancy side, then definitely everybody is my target audience. But if I'm approaching my business from the angle of social media management, then not everybody is my target audience. Depending on how much I want to be paid, I have to define those important things that will help me determine my audience. If I want to be paid, say, £100 per month, I wouldn't look for a startup business that does not even earn up to £500 per month. They may struggle to pay me. So, knowing how much you want to make from your business, knowing the kind of business you want to run, and knowing your product or service will help you define your target audience. Apart from defining your target audience, you also have to define your goals. Why do you want to be on social media? Why do you want to use your social media? Why do you want your brand to be on social media? Those are things you have to define. And uh, there is, is a way that we usually uh, check this out. It's called SMART. That's the acronym, SMART. You have to check that your goals are specific, they are measurable, they are achievable, realistic, and timely. If your goals are not specific, it will be hard to measure. If your goals are not achievable, you bring up abstract goals. Like, for instance, it's possible to be a billionaire, but let's say you don't even have up to uh, a certain million or thousands of dollars or naira or pounds to invest in a business. Don't expect that you get returns that will make you a billionaire overnight. So you have to set achievable and realistic goals. And then your goals have to be time-bound. We have short-term, mid-term, and long-term goals. You need to know which ones are priority for you, which goals are short-term, which goals are mid-term, and which goals are long-term. And for examples of goals, some people just want brand awareness, some people want money, some people want engagement. Those are examples of goals. I have five here. Research and development might be a goal for your brand. Um, driving sales and leads, that's making money. Engaging in public relations can be a goal. Uh, building community advocates and brand awareness. Then, social media has lots of benefits. Apart from the goals that we listed, there are lots of benefits of social media. We have uh, benefits like generating leads, gen um, leads generation for people who don't understand. It's like looking for customers. Social media helps you look for customers. Social media helps you get clients. Social media helps you generate leads. That's the social media language for it. Then it helps increase sales. It helps uh, find business partners and a lot more. And some other benefits is low market, uh, marketing budget. Instead of paying transport, 
to go from London to Croydon to Milton Kings to different aspects of the UK. With social media, you have a low budget of marketing and from the comfort of your home, you can just target your audience, set up the proper ads and you market your product or your service. So social media is very powerful for marketing. It helps you market at a minimum budget compared to traditional marketing. In social media, you don't necessarily need to print your flyers. You have your e-flyer, you just post. And maybe the only thing you have to spend on, on social media is the ads payment. So it's a very moderate and it's a very economic way of marketing. And we have promotion and engagement is also a benefit of social media. It's one powerful benefit. Social media helps you promote what you do. It helps you engage with others. It helps strengthen relationships. There are people who find it difficult to communicate facially with others. But when it comes to chats and online, it's very easy. I'm like that. <laughs> so social media helps strengthen relationships. You could communicate with people that you have never seen before. People from different countries, people from different tribes, people from different parts of the world. Social media helps strengthen relationships. It increases participation. Um, let's say, for instance, during the elections in Nigeria or in the UK, and they need to raise more awareness, apart from going locally, from community to community or from county to county. Another way to spread the news fast is social media. So it helps to increase participation. You get participation in the form of likes, comments, and you know what I mean. <coughs> okay, social media helps break barriers. I've made reference to that as regards to um, in relating with other people's cultures. Through social media, you can see what somebody in South Africa does and how the South African culture or life is. Through social media, you can see what the US culture and life is like. Through social media, you can actually see what the um, French culture is like. So social media helps you to see other cultures. It boosts confidence for some people. For some people that they call keypad warriors, for instance. I don't know if you've come across that name before. Keypad warriors. Those kind of people, they get involved in communications on a keypad. They are very confident through chats, but officially they might not be confident. But over time, after having a series of chats and uh, social media engagements like that, it helps boost their confidence. Especially coming to a room filled with people that you have not met officially, but you have been engaging with and battling with online. So social media helps boost confidence. It also helps um, battle depression. For instance, somebody can be depressed and you go online, you watch comedy skits, it's helping you relieve yourself from depression. And it's an education platform. Um, on my page, for instance, I post educational tips um, and valuable content about how to use Instagram on my Instagram page, and I post valuable tips about social media marketing. So I'm educating the public about social media. So you can use social media as a tool to educate people about your talent, your skill, or your interests. Social media is very valuable for educating. It also helps on reach potentials. We've heard of people that um, it was through social media that their dance took them to international levels. Uh, in local language, they could say the person don't blow through social media. Mm -hmm. Social media will help publicize you. It would help unleash your potential, even for not just um, individual talents, but for products and for services. For a small business, imagine putting your business in a platform that, or in platforms that have over 4.76 billion users. And you can imagine what potential that has for a small business, especially if you understand how to target your adverts. So, in conclusion, these are some of the takeaways from all the things that I've talked about. Uh, social media is a budget-friendly way to market. It's uh, <clears throat> more than half of the world now uses social media. This is like about 59% of the world 
now uses social media. There are different statistics. The ones I showed you say um, 57%, but this statistic shows 59%. And then we have 4.76 billion. I think that's the most consistent figure in almost all platforms for 2023. 4.76 billion people are users of social media, and that's like a big potential for your business. And not just that, we have 137 new social media users based on last year. So you can imagine if 137 new and 137 million people were added to different social media platforms. So imagine how many more will be added. Imagine how many more people will turn 18 this year, how many more will turn 18 next year, and so on and so forth. So social media is a very important tool. And then the average time spent on social media is about two hours. I'm not sure there's anybody here who would go online and spend just five minutes on social media. Is there anybody here? Just five minutes, you come online, five minutes and you're out. Anybody like that? You. <laughs> who else? Five minutes and you're out. Hmm, that's interesting. So how about you see an interesting video like a comedy? You don't stay to watch it at all. Good. <laughs> it actually comes with discipline because you could get carried away on social media. It's one way to get carried away. Like you could spend loads of time on social media without even consciously knowing. And then the last thing I have to say is that if you want to go ahead in business, you don't stay behind in the social media world. Evolve with social media. I'll use Instagram as an instance. Almost, <laughs> in Nigeria we say almost every AK market day. Almost every period, almost every month, there's a new additional feature to Instagram. So if you are not evolving with social media, you will be left behind. If you are not evolving, what you knew yesterday will not be the same way. In fact, the position of your profile yesterday might not be the position next month. So as social media is evolving, you need to evolve with it. You need to know how best to position your business on social media as the times are changing and platforms are changing. I don't know if there's any question about social media and social media marketing. The floor is open. Um, thank you for enlightening us. Um, I just want to ask, Social media, um, where we come from, is a platform anyone can use at will. There's no caution. You're allowed to say what you want. You're allowed to post whatever you want to. So, but here, I know they have laws and there are certain things. So, I just want to ask, for example, if you want to go into business, like maybe selling a product or food online here, what are the things you must put into consideration before you know opening a social media platform to start your business? What you must do and what you must not Okay, thank you for that question. Uh, social media is actually a very open platform. And as much as they are private, in fact, the most important thing you need to consider in any platform or in anything you are doing in the UK is the GDPR rules. So in social media operation, you have to make adequate research about your business or your brand so that you will know how to position it. Are there rules that govern your business or that's that idea that you have interest in. You need to know, are there dance rules, if it's dance for instance, are there food rules, are there organizations that govern the food business, that's if you want to make it public, except you want to do it illegally. So anything that has to be done legally, you either need a legal advice or you need to invest your time in research so that you don't make mistakes. I don't know if I answered the question. All right, any other question? The floor is open. All right. Thank you for your time. You can grow with us on social media. Our Instagram handle is social special. And if you have any uh, form of partnership or question, you can email me, judith at socialspecial.co.uk. Judith at socialspecial.co.uk. And Instagram is a social special. Thank you.